Another powerful tool in Affinity Designer is its grid. First, you have to go to the view and show the grid. This is a simple grid of the software that you can draw anything. Oops. You can draw anything that you want. And you can use to snap to the grid for better drawing. For example, you want to draw something here and you can snap the grid. You can come to the snap and make sure that you activate a snap to the grid, a snap to the base not grid, okay? Make sure that. Or I actually would like to activate all of this now. And now you can snap to the grid to drawing your works more accurate and better. Nice. This is a simple grid. For changing the grid settings, you have to go to the view and here grid and access this panel is very powerful and big and from here we have a lot of preset for isometric or another or you can manage your preset here from the mode is automatic it's create this you cannot changing the uh, settings of the spacing and division here. This pixel is based on which uh, dimension do you prefer for your document unit. For example, I change it to millimeter to better understand. And then as you can see, it changed to the millimeter. And spacing between the these two lines are that. For example, I simply click and drag simple that. And you can see the four millimeters uh, uh, each minimal square and the bigger square you can see here is 20 millimeter nice so this is a default and it's because it's automatic we cannot change anything here you can directly from here show grid or show pixel grid if you go to the pixel personal here I'll explain it later from here, you can change the color of your uh, grid. Very simple. You can change the color of your grid. <clears throat> or change the opacity of that. Subdivision lines. These are subdivision lines. They are linked together. And the pixel grid line. If you go to the pixel personnel, you can see the grid. This is a basic from here now. You can uh change the spacing between these grids division for example two division you can add more division to here one division change the color this is a basic mode in a basic mode we have a lots of presets here that you can use one centimeter square one centimeter squared with one division or it changed these settings here triangular with this triangular, it's open uh, other settings that you can change the grid setting, isometric, for example, here, we can change isometric here. It's automatic, we go to the advanced. So I explain it one by one. This is an automatic, basic, and then I go to this. But these are presets, the prepare settings that you choose, you can choose. <clears throat> then we go to the advanced. And here we can choose uh, advanced grid for our work with lots of settings. Okay. In a basic, you can show the access editing handle. Where they are, they are there. If you go to the move tool, you can move the access to the center <clears throat> or anywhere that you want. That's it. If you go to the advanced, we have a lot of advanced sitting there. From here, uh, as you can see, some of the second axis and up axis is turned off because you have to change the grid type. From here, it's a uniform. If you set it uniform, you can change the spacing at any number that you want. Division, or you can add gutter. Simple gutter between. If you untick the uniform, you can change second axis. Very simple. Now you can 
choose um, choose on uniform access fixed aspect ratio you can change the ratio of your object with aspect change it instead of changing spacing you can change aspect ratio for example one to two two to one you can choose it <clears throat> again you can come back to that so if you change to isometric now you can create something like this arts isometric that i explain it and now another interesting tool will be appear here that is create plane set that i explain it now okay this isn't just simple isometric that you can create 3d object with that or one two to one isometric just change the settings or diametric a different type of the grid that you want it just change these settings with this angle if you want to choose change all of them you have to go to the cube triangular yeah you can see it. we have a triangle here that you can change it and here we can add intermediate angle for that intermediate division they are turned off in they are turned on in some special cases horizontal triangular one two two axis custom and now it will be turned on to access custom and now you can click and drag the handle and add any dimension that you want just be careful that you have to do the move tool here you can change manually the degree of your access here and here is a triangular custom you have three angle three handle for changing the access interesting so as you can see you have a lots of tools another interesting tool here is a cubic with this cube you can activate and click and drag it very simple or change the height of that for example you want to create this 3d cube or 3d object like this and you need to this angle with click and drag you can rotate your angle with the simulation of this 3d that's it you can change all of this number with this click and drag or manually do that you can change the cube scale that you want or the division between them or you can change the axis with them it's very simple okay let's uh, talk about advance and uh, create set plane for that if it if you click it again turn it off and turn it on it will be appear here you can um, I don't want to show access editing this is on my isometric I want to create something like that and this is on to access custom you can make it to the isometric again and create 3d object with that for example i want to create a simple box or something like that if i just uh, click and drag something like this holding shift and as you can see it does not create well because we need to create plan set if you click on tick and ticket again in this view uh app um, we know will be up here and i want to create in this in the top it's very important if you select your object you have to go to edit in plane if you edit in plane it's very important before drawing you have to edit in plane so uh this is my object that i drew draw drew before and for edit if i before drawing i turn edit in plane if I draw again, now you can see it edit it actually drawing my plane top. But what can I do with this object? It's very simple. You have to fit it to plane. For example, to the top, 
the front or the side i want to add it at this side so select your object and select your side and just fit the plane now you can edit your plane like this and all of the tools you can edit it in this plane nice and let's turn it on and change a little of color don't forget before drawing edit in plane okay i want to draw um, in this direction so another snap to grid is turn on and boom it's very simple or you want to edit to top nice so let's talk about if you want to add grid sitting you can turn it on again let's uh bring some asset to on my work this is an asset for example let's bring something that has an arrow mm -hmm. something like this go to the window and turn on asset this is my asset i want to fit it my work for example uh, i want to fit it at the top go to the top fit to play and it automatically fit in this place and then you can flip horizontal flip vertical rotate it in any degree that you want or you can manually rotate it in any degree because i turn editing plane on interesting so this tool is very clockwise or counterclockwise. So in this case, you can create isometric things with the grid. That's it. You can use it and enjoy it.